Hi, hello, welcome back to the new video of Medic Prep. This is your VK. In the video, completely we will be seeing cockroach. So normally, the introduction of cockroaches, it is some uh, uh, three inches, and uh, this introduction part, once you read it, uh, let me go into the most important topic: uh, respiratory and uh, digestive and various uh, other functions. So let's go. So this is an omnivorous nocturnal. It comes in only night, night, and it may appear blue, green, red, in any color. And these are serious pests and various several uh, vectors for several diseases. So morphology is. So this is the. Let me explain by this diagram morphology. Morphology. There is head part. Compound eye is there. This is an antenna. Filiform antenna. This is stigma and hind wing. Uh, this is metathoracic wing, and this metathoracic wing is only used for flying. This stigma is not used for flying. This is mesothoracic wing, so this is not used for flying. So there are three pairs of leg: prothoracic leg, metathoracic leg, and uh, mesothoracic leg and metathoracic leg. This is an abdominal part, and this is an anal sulci. Anal sulci is present in the ninth, uh, ninth. sternum and we have okay this is the normal physiology uh, morphology of a cockroach and uh, let me go into deep okay i have explained this the normally head part is there thorax part is there abdomen part is there and uh, the entire body is covered by a chitinous exoskeleton and this exoskeleton is made up of nam n acetyl glucosamine and ag and each segment of exoskeleton is a hard plate sclerites dorsally it is tergite and ventrally it is sternite ventral means chest part chest part is sternite back part is tergite and these are joined to each other so these all are joined with each other by arthrodial membrane which is an uh, it's a type of thin membrane which is flexible it is join it is joining all these uh, tergite sternites all sclerites so let's go into the next one so what is given in this para is let me explain you before that let me explain first uh, this diagram once i explain you the diagram it will be more easy for you so what is the given thing in diagram is uh, Okay, this is the head part, and it's it looks like more triangular. Okay, this head part looks more triangular, and there is a compound eye, and there is a ocellus. It I will explain the ocellus uh, thing. Okay, this is very important, which is mostly given in NCERT fingertips question based on this diagram. Okay, the front part is always labrum uh, rum. It drink it drinks rum. so that's why it is rum labrum and uh, front part mandible and maxilla so mandible is the front part maxilla x x comes after a at last x only comes so uh, maxilla is the back part mandible is the front part labrum is the first part i labium is the second part so this is uh, the dissected part labrum labium mandible maxilla this is hypopharynx this is the tongue part and there is a question which are the structure helping grinding of a food so mandible is helping in the grinding and incising region so mandible and uh, gizzard is helping for grinding of food so let's go into the theory part it is a triangular in shape it lies anteriorly at the right angle to the longitudinal body axis So it is it the the head part is right angle to the body it means it is perpendicular to the body it is formed by the fusion of six segments and shows a greater mobility in all directions and there is a flexible neck head is a capsule bears a pair of compound eye and uh, there is a antenna we know there is these are sensory receptors monitoring the environment the anterior end of head bears an appendage forming biting chewing mouth parts that is mandible and maxilla mouth part consist of labrum upper lip labium is a lower lip and upper pair is mandible lower pair is maxilla 
a median flexible lobe acting as a tongue that is hypopharynx i told you it lies within the cavity enclosed by the mouth part normally our mouth tongue is present so this thorax has having three part prothorax mesothorax and metathorax so head is connected with the thorax by extension of prothorax known as neck so prothorax is not connected with the head straightly it is connected with the neck part which is projecting out of prothorax so each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs which means there are six legs which is three pair of legs the first pair of legs arises from mesothorax next is metathorax wing it is wing not leg first pair of wing arises from meso and meta next is from metathorax so four wing that is mesothoracic wing is called a stegma i showed in the diagram these are opaque dark leathery structure and cover the hind wing and when at rest the hind wing are transparent membranes are used in fling it means there are two wings that is mesothoracic wing one is metathoracic wing metathoracic wing is used for flight not mesothoracic wing the abdominal in both males and females consist of 10 segments in female the seventh sternum means um, seventh sternum which is ventral side is boat shaped and together with the eighth and ninth sternum forms brood or genital pouch that is a genital chamber whose anterior part contains female gonophore spermatical uh, pore collateral glands in male genital pouch chamber lies at the hind abdominal dorsally in the ninth and tenth targa means back side ventrally by ninth sternum ventral side so it contain dorsal anus ventral male genital pore and gonophysis male bear a pair of short thread anal stems but which are absent in female so the difference between male and female is male has anal stem female doesn't in both sexes tenth segment bears both anal cerci in both of them tenth one tenth segment is bearing anal cerci but in only male that is in ninth segment there is an anal style 